I'm not even gonna go into it. Not even gonna go into it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did Wayne Gretzky punch you in the face? Ah, uh, somebody like him. You know, it was one of those uncalled hide sticks. You can get cut even with a cage. All right, folks, we are back. We are back with a topic that has been much requested. I'm gonna let you guys take a guess. What do you think today's quiz is on? Me? No, the other guy wearing a bootleg ESPN t-shirt with the <laughs> wrong fonts on it. <laughs> AHL teams. For AHL affiliates. Mascots. It better be food related. Gullhorns. No, thankfully it's not Gullhorns part two. I'm sure there will be eventually, but it's not that. It's NHL. <laughs> Arenas. All right. Well, I'm screwed. So we could easily slip food into this one. I don't know anything about NHL arenas. You better get to knowing it, because that's what the next 10 questions are on. They're pretty uh, big in square footage, and they usually have a company name attached to them. All right. So you guys know how the quiz works. 10 questions. As always, we got that bonus round in the middle. You get that right, get that bonus strike. We're operating under a one strike system. We also have the lifeline. It's true or false. Now, what does that mean? That means that any question after the bonus round that you select to use your lifeline on, I will turn it into a true or false question for you. Eric, I believe you have a punishment. I, I'm not sure if you thought I forgot. I was hoping you forgot. I'm not going to lie. You have to full tongue lick the front of this puck. That's it? You ever wonder what What do you mean that's it? You know, why don't we get this over <laughs> with because it's already weird. Which you, side would you like? I don't care. Just lick it. Ready? I'm going to take my choice. Ugh. Yet another punishment that's punishment for me. Tastes like rubber. All right, let's get to question one. Hit it harder than whoever hit Corwin's face. Desperate times calls for desperate measures, people. Oh, let's go, baby. Ready for action. So now you look like Bono wearing a Jofa <laughs> helmet. Question number one. Sponsors, sponsors, sponsors. Every current NHL arena has a sponsor attached to its name. Well, all but one. Which is it? Trying to do as dirty like that, eh? First question. I mean, every current NHL arena. Right, okay. It has to be the most famous arena of all. Oh. Madison Square Garden. I think it's Madison Square Garden. It's an MSG. Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. I hope Madison isn't like some brand I don't know about. That is correct. Yeah, everyone else has sold their naming rights except for Madison Square Garden. I always thought that would be a funny thing if like really ancient buildings would sell their naming rights. The like Roman. the pyramid? Yeah, yeah. Like a Toblerone great uh, Egyptian pyramid. The Puma Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to question two. What is the newest arena in the NHL? Ooh. Well, it has to be for the Vegas Golden Knights. I gotta go with the T-Mobile Arena. Collect your things, Eric, because you're out of here already! What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Little Caesars Arena. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. I only know this because it's food related. Little Caesars Arena. A little hot and ready for the kids. The pizza box. One of the greasiest outfits in the league. <laughs> <laughs> the more and more I think about it, maybe this is more of a food quiz than I realized. <laughs> Moving on to question three. All right, Hurricane Chris, let's do this. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. So hot up in this room. That I ain't got no shoes on. <laughs> Question three. With a capacity of 21,273, this arena not only holds the most people out of all NHL rinks, but also out of all indoor rinks in the world. Which arena is it? Now, in case anyone in the comments tries to get funny with me, I mean, for indoor arenas, as far as it's, it's, it's where they have a permanent hockey tenant. I don't mean like they outfitted it to play hockey in it once. Right. I do know this. Sanity! I think it's the Bell Center. The Bell Center, baby! It's the Bell Center in Montreal. It's Le Centre Bell. Centre Bell. Centre Bell. If you never want to hear either of us speak French again, absolutely smash the like button. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Question four. Ooh, it's my favorite type of question, folks. Oh, no. True or false? Ah, you beat me to it. This is how I got tossed in the last quiz. True or false? Before being renamed in 2016, the Gila River Arena, the Arizona Coyotes' home, their naming rights belonged to SeatGeek, and they didn't have to spend a dollar to get it. Instead of paying for rights, SeatGeek was contracted by the team to boost their home ticket sales. True or false? Mr. Z, you're a tough, you're a tough cookie to get past. What the hell is, that's not a phrase. If I could pick anybody on the bar down team to take a shot at a team for having low attendance, it'd be Z. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've come to realize is that these true or false questions are meant to trick you, so I'm gonna go with false this time. <laughs> All of these questions are designed to trick you. I'm gonna go false. I think this is like a really on-brand true or false, and I think that's false. I don't think I don't think they actually did that. I'm going false. Fans of the Come Dressed as a Seat Night, this one was for you. <laughs> it was false. I feel like Coyotes fans, they keep telling me, ah, why are there no questions about the Coyotes? Welcome to the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. But honestly, to all you fans out there in the desert, I will say this. I hope you guys keep your hockey team. I do hope that Quebec City gets their own hockey team, but I hope 
hope it's their own team. I, I like hockey in the desert. Arizona's actually a really dope place. And Coyotes, you have some of the sickest jerseys in the league. You've also had some really terrible ones. Some <laughs> brutal ones. And your attendance sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Moving on. Moving on to question five. NHL arenas come in all shapes and sizes, but this arena is the only one that is named after its shape. Like, is a key bank a shape? What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, it's our newest feature. Worst question of the day. Is the key bank a shape? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Is a key bank <laughs> a shape? Is it the saddle dome? Saddle dome? I'm gonna guess the saddle dome. It's shaped like a saddle. Wells Fargo. <laughs> I don't know. Marissa seems, I don't know. Marissa seems to be confusing shapes <laughs> with bank sponsors. <laughs> Okay, fun fact. Did anyone know that that thing is shaped like a cowboy hat? No, it's a saddle. That's why it's the saddle dome. How did you get that correct and <laughs> then get it wrong after answering it correctly? I don't know who's sitting on that thing, okay? That's a big saddle. Uh, the only person who's got a kabuti big enough to sell in that saddle is Martin St. Louis. Am I right? We're moving on. All right, moving on to the bonus round. <laughs> As always, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate all the support, all the love you've given us. Appreciate you guys watching the quizzes. And of course, we appreciate when you drop a like on the quiz videos. Not just so Luca and I stop using French in quizzes, but also so we can make more quizzes and so we can get the quiz on the trending page. I don't know what you're talking about, the French thing. I wasn't in the room. It's an inside joke they have. I don't like that. All right, bonus round. You know how this works. You got 30 seconds after I'm done reading the question. You get this right, you get that free strike. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Name four former NHL arenas that are no longer in use. Joe Lewis Arena. Joe Louis. The Joe. Uh, Maple Leaf Gardens. Maple Leaf Gardens. Winnipeg Arena. The Molson Center. Montreal Forum. Montreal Forum. Um, I'm blanking. Um, oh crap. Uh, Montreal Arena. And Rexall Place, eh? Does Colorado still have a team? Colorado still has a team, and that team is one of the best in the NHL, if not the best. Woo! Let's go, Avs! So I've just used all of Luca's time, Wait, and what? he didn't answer no. the fourth one yet. We've created a diversion. Guess you shouldn't have done all that gloating. Yeah, baby! Hey! <laughs> you got your bonus. All right, moving on to question six. Some of you have a bonus strike, some of you don't. Hey, I got my lifeline now, so I'm rolling. Question six. Most hockey fans know which arena each original six team began in. Montreal had the Forum, Chicago had Chicago Stadium, New York, Boston, and Toronto all had their gardens. But what arena did the Red Wings play in during the original six era? Lifeline activated. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know, the Detroit Forum? I need to use my lifeline. All right, so as I said, I'm going to turn this question into a true or false question. All right, you ready? Yep. Here's how this works. I am going to give you an answer. Answer. You just have to tell me true or false. Okay. Joe Louis Arena. Oh, damn. Uh, Joe Louis Arena. Jo Joe what? Joe Louis Arena. Joe Louis. Joe Arena. Louis? Louis We're not talking about the dessert. <laughs> False? All right, I'm gonna play this out of my head for you. You tell me if this is right. You said that arena name to try and trick me into thinking that there was an arena before that name. Hence, the Red Wings played at Joe Louis Arena for the entirety of their hockey existence. And therefore, Luca Celebre can now get up, take his <laughs> mic off, and get out of the room. It is false. It was not the Joe Louis Arena. It's the Olympia Stadium. Okay, that's right. Formerly known as the Old Red Barn. You you still have your bonus, but you don't have your lifeline. It came in handy. Jesse doesn't have a bonus, but he's moving on and he still has his lifeline though. Question seven. Despite featuring the only retractable roof in the league, this arena never played host to an outdoor NHL game. Which arena was it? That's weird. That's really weird. An arena had a retractable roof. So it would have to be like it's somewhere that played with another sport. I don't know, Miami Arena? I guess I have no choice but to use my lifeline right now. I'm going to turn this question into a true or false question. True or false? The arena was the igloo. True! Damn. Yes! <laughs> Who is it? Mellon Arena. Oh. Mellon Arena, or again, as it was called, the Civic Arena when it was first built, was the first retractable dome in the world. Oh, I always thought that was a sky dome, but I guess not. All right, moving on to question eight. You have no more bonuses. You got no more safeties left. If you're out, you're out. Question number eight. 11,059. In the last two decades, no NHL barn has averaged a lower attendance than this arena did during the 2010 and 2011 season. Ooh, this is unbelievably nerve-wracking. We both like to make fun of attendance issues. <laughs> Let's see if you can put your money where your mouth is. I think I know the answer. So I just guess Islanders. Is it the NASA Coliseum? 
I'll go Islanders. I'm going with the Nassau Coliseum. Yeah, I don't know. Islanders, they suck. Islanders fans, <laughs> fill your building. That is correct. Yeah, baby! Nassau Coliseum is the correct answer. I, honestly, I know we, like, dump on Islanders fans a lot, like me and you specifically, because we're Leafs yeah. fans. Maybe actually show up for a game where it's not you just booing your old captain, <laughs> and then the next game, it's absolutely empty. You're more willing to pay for a ticket to, like, crap on one guy, like a guy that served your team for nine years rather than just support the team that's trying to play right now. <laughs> it's a little backwards. Moving on to question nine. The Golden State Warriors left Oracle Arena in the summer of 2019, but what NHL team left there in 1976? We got to see the final game there. We were in the locker room. I got to have Jay-Z steal my phone. He didn't steal it, but... One of the greatest stories of all time. If you see Z in person or anything like that, honestly, ask him the Jay-Z story. Definitely his best one. This is the only team that I think could possibly have done this. California, wait, no way, whoa, 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 whoa. They wore white skates. I know California Golden Seals. Is it the California Seals? Yes, it was Tom Hanks' favorite hockey team, the California Golden Seals. Yes, <laughs> yes! I don't know if that's like a reference I'm not getting or if you're serious. Tom Hanks is from Oakland. They're leaving what I grew up knowing as the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum Complex Arena. The Oakland Seals, a hockey team that I went and saw. I thought he was from that island. Look what I have created! Life is like a box of chocolate when you're about to win a quiz, baby. I made it! It's the final boss. Is Jesse's losing streak about to come to an end? Look to your left. Look to your right. Look to the center. It's time to fight. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Oh my god, this is insane! This one's timed. Oh, I have a feeling I know what it's gonna be. Name every arena in the NHL. You have 60 seconds. Go. 60 seconds. Okay. Uh... Bridgestone, Scotiabank Arena, Scotiabank Saddle Dome, BBNT, Little Caesars, Bell and TS Place, the Bell Center, Scotiabank Arena, uh, the Saddle Dome, uh, Canadian Tire Center, the Staples Center, the Pepsi Center, the Prudential Center, PBNG Paints Arena, Bell Center, uh, Bell MTS, Nationwide Arena, uh, Madison Square Garden, uh, Nassau, TD Garden, uh, Madison Square Garden, Capital One Arena, um, um, the United Center, uh, American Airlines are Arena, um, um, Enterprise Arena, um, the, uh, um, damn, um, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, uh, NASA, um, Barclay Center. Uh, because that counts as two for the Islanders. Time! That was 60 seconds, Jesse. That was a decent amount. You were not the only person to reach the final boss. Join us in the room, Corwin. No! <laughs> I hate you. Corwin, gentlemen, do me a favor. Both of you grab the belt together. I haven't touched this thing since I let you. Uh, <laughs> Both Jesse and Corwin <laughs> made it to this point, but which one of them named more? Jesse's drought is over. Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby! I can't even be upset. Look how happy he is. Get on me! Honestly, I think it's that helmet. Yes! Wow. I think this is for Wayne, by the way. This one's for Wayne! I feel like they need a little private time. Congratulations, Jesse. Absolutely dead. Wow. Hey, 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 great plan out there, Colin. For the first time <laughs> since the Wayne Gretzky quiz, you are a Bardown champion. It's your winner's circle. Say whatever you'd like. There are so many people to think! I count the posts every day. You, you really sparked a, a, a fire under my tush. Bardown memes, you know, you, you guys are pretty gutty, but like, you know, also lit some fire under my tush. Memes of Bardown, you too. Z, this one's for you, man. I'm just dedicating it to you. Luca, you can take a big bite out of my butt. <laughs> uh, Corwin, you've held this thing one too many times. You're a classy uh, opponent, but uh, it's mine now, baby. Oh, I really do look like an idiot now that I'm looking at myself in the belt. One question for you. Yes? How long's your next drought gonna be? <laughs> Let us know in the comments.